Good afternoon. <laughs> last but not least, automation intellect. I have had the privilege over the last 12 weeks of working with the automation intellect team. Brad, Kurt, and Kate. Apparently, you need to have exactly four letters in your first name um, <laughs> to work at this company, which is, I think, why they picked me as an advisor. <laughs> but, but seriously, this company has developed and is selling a product, a data analytics platform for factories, which can significantly increase the operational efficiency of the machines in those factories. That means higher capacity, higher productivity, higher quality, which in turn leads to a greater return on the high capital cost of plant and equipment uh, in factories. And they have already saved their early customers boatloads of money. So I really believe in the market, I like the business model, and I love the team. Brad DeMarco, the CEO, 25 years of expertise, serial entrepreneur um, in the automation industry. Kurt Luke, 25 years of expertise, software development with a, special, a specialty uh, within business intelligence and data analytics. And Kate Cohen, one of the most talented uh, sales professionals I've ever seen in a startup company. And as an investor, I really like the rationality of the business-to-business -business marketplace. I like the recurring revenue that comes from their subscription-based software-as-a-service model. And I really, really like the depth and the breadth of the pipeline that they have developed in their time at Starfast. So without further ado, Brad DeMarco, Automation. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Thank you for the great introduction, and thanks for all your help this summer. Um, guys, thank you for everything this summer. It's been great to be here, and I appreciate everything. So good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Brad DeMarco. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Automation Intellect. For the last 25 years, I've run an automation company that designs and builds equipment for manufacturing companies. I've been in plants all across the world. Big companies like GE and Siemens, and hundreds of smaller companies that you've probably never heard of. These companies produce all kinds of products that we all use every day. Products like pens and orange juice containers, automotive parts, just about anything you can think of. And while these companies are all very diverse in the things that they make, they all have one problem. They have one thing in common. The machines that produce all these things don't perform very well. In fact, most of the machines that make parts like these run at about half of their capacity. So let me, if you imagine yourself as a plant manager and you're running a factory, you're running a company, and you're only able to put out about half of what you're supposed to put out as a, as a plant. And not only that, but you don't have any idea why those machines are running so poorly. That's exactly the situation that most plant managers are in today. That poor performance and lack of visibility is costing US manufacturing companies over $200 billion a year in lost productivity. And it's one of the main reasons that companies in the United States aren't competitive with the rest of the world. So after I saw this happening in plant after plant after plant, I knew that we had to come up with a solution. Our solution is Automation Intellect. Automation Intellect is a software as a service platform that allows manufacturing companies to collect data from their equipment and use it to, uh, to improve the performance of their machines. We use proprietary algorithms and analytics to consolidate the data, prioritize the data, and then, <coughs> excuse me, and then provide that company back actionable information that they can use to drive better performance from their machines, reducing downtime and scrap. So let me give you an example of a place that we've had an impressive impact. We installed our software at a global plastics company. They manufacture Tropicana orange juice container lids for Pepsi. And their machines were running so poorly that they needed to, they almost lost their contract with Pepsi. So we installed our software on their equipment 
And in six months, we almost doubled the output of their equipment. Woo! Yeah. That equated to about two and a half million parts per month of additional production. And it was over $1.5 million in revenue back to that company. So pretty, pretty amazing results. More importantly than all of that though, they saved the contract with Pepsi. Woohoo! Yeah. Our goal is to deliver that kind of value to manufacturing companies across the United States. In order to do that, we need a great team. And we have a great team. Kurt is our CTO. He's got years of background building enterprise level software solutions for all different types of, types of companies like Deloitte, Ernst & Young, Oracle, among others. His background in business intelligence and analytics is critical to the, su the success of our company. Kate is our VP of sales and she's a top 5% producer. That essentially means she'll call anybody and close everybody. That's right. <laughs> yeah. right. That's right. So in the last two months since Kate joined our team, she's quadrupled our pipeline. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Quadruple. Yep. Our pipeline today stands at over $9 million. Wow. So uh, we go to uh, market kind of through two different channels. One channel is through machine builders. Machine builders for us represent about $2 million of our pipeline. And of these companies, three of them have either shown interest in an investment or wanted to acquire us. So really Woo! great potential. <laughs> the second path to market for us is end users. We just completed an installation last week at ZF. They're a tier one automotive supplier. And if anybody knows anything about the automotive industry, it's an amazing feat for a startup to be able to put software in that kind of an environment. Wow. So we've, we've really done well there. <laughs> that plant has over a thousand machine, or that organization has over a thousand machines that we can put our software on. And that represents almost $3 million in pipeline alone. So between that company and Aptar, that's another company that has over a thousand machine potential for us, those end users have almost a seven million dollar pipeline for us. And that's just two companies. There are thousands and thousands, 25,000 manufacturing plants in the United States. So this is a great, great start for us. So in 2019, our goal is to deliver 1,200 machines to subscription under contract and then deliver $2.7 million in revenue. So today, we're raising $1.5 million to accelerate our growth and achieve our plan. Our plan gets us to break even in about 14 months. Automation Intellect is on a mission to bring manufacturing back to the United States and make it competitive again. If you believe in the potential of manufacturing in the United States, and you think you want to have an impact, please come see us after the, after the pitch. Um, we're wearing the American flags. Thank you.